Hey guys, One Piece Nation here today to bring you the first episode of Mistranslations in One Piece. But before we, be before we begin, I would like to give a shout out to the man who inspired this series with his Dragon Ball Lost in Translation series, Geekdom 101. He is undoubtedly the one of the best Dragon Ball Z YouTubers on the internet. And undoubtedly, in my opinion, one of the most knowledgeable fans, no, the most knowledgeable fan I have ever seen, and a man I respect greatly. So, I'd like to dedicate this first episode to you, Geek Dumb 101. Now, I, I hope after you watch this video, if you are a Dragon Ball fan of any kind, you go check out his videos. Even if you're the most casual fan on the planet and don't like the Japanese version, you will still learn a lot from watching videos by Geek Dumb 101. But guys, it is time we started the mistranslations of One Piece. Although this is quite rare, there are some people who only read the manga ever. Some people who may have started One Piece with the manga and never have ever watched the anime. Now the reason this is a problem is because those people will be very confused when it in terms of Zoro's name. Because Viz Media have proven once again that they still, even after all these years, unlike Funimation, have not learned from their mistakes. Now, the reason I say this is because in the Dragon Ball Viz manga, they translate Vegito's name to Vegerot because they combine the name Kakarot and Vegeta instead of combining the Japanese names of Vegeta and Kakarot To. However, since after this mistake, you would think they would learn from it. But they did not. Kind of freaking depressing, isn't it? It's even more depressing when fan subs like Manga Stream or Manga Panda can do better than the official translation and call him by his proper name. That is white guy. In the vid manga, Zoro's name is not Zoro, it is Zolo. And now I'm going to explain why his name is Zolo in the vid manga. As you can see here, in Japanese, Ryon, and I believe that would be pronounced, sounds very similar to the English word lion. So the R and the L are very easily confused. However, this would have been fine if this was only a problem when he was first introduced. However, the time skip for One Piece happened at chapter 598. We're going to two-year time skip and two years of trading took place. And Zoro is still referred to as Zolo. Post time skip. This was in no way to attempt to Americanize the name because, well, Zolo, Zolo doesn't really sound any more American than Zoro does. But that is beside the point. This does not appear that it will change anytime soon considering they have been using the name Zolo for nearly, no, for over 700 plus chapters. I just don't think I'm changing at any point, but guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And keep your eyes out for the next mistranslations of One Piece.